Hi, I'm Amanda Beard, seven-time medalist. I get my aquasphere gear at swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Check them out today. This is the Morning Swim Show for Monday, November 28th, 2011. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In the Phoenix Monitor today, we'll talk to Joao De Luca. He's a sophomore at the University of Louisville, and he's becoming one of the fastest swimmers in the NCAA. Joao joins us right now in the Phoenix Monitor from Louisville. Hey, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? Uh, thank you to invite me to this show. It's a pleasure to have you on. So, uh, 43 1 in the 100, 135 6 in the 200 already this year. Yeah. You're setting the pace. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, I feel that's pretty good. Uh, I like it a lot, these, these results from last week. Uh, I'm pretty glad that I'm going like 135 right now, like training fast, not resting. And uh, I'm pretty glad. I'm pretty proud this time. What's the goal for you this year? Uh, pretty much is always getting better, and I feel like if I just get better, like if things are gonna follow up. Like uh, my my goal is uh, go to Olympic Games, do my best, and and I don't know, be top three in NCAA. I know there have been some countries who have conflicts with the NCAA's and when their Olympic trials are. When do the Brazilian trials fall? Uh, pretty much. The last trials we have is in May, but we have a couple of trials. As long as you make the cut, you, you're ready to go. But I'm going to Brazil on December 11th to swim the Brazilian Nationals on 14th to 18th. So you can qualify for the Olympics right then and there? Yeah, uh, pretty much. I also can qualify swimming from here. As long as I make the cut, I'm, I'm totally fine to go. Yeah, I, sometimes I wish more countries would do it that way. I mean, I know for America it doesn't make as much sense, but you know, we've talked to guys from France, for example, who had to choose one or the other, and that's mm -hmm. a tough choice to make. You know, swimming for your team and NCAA's, or trying to make the Olympics for your home country. So you yeah, got, I mean, it's, so it's, mid December is going to be your big big meet coming up. What are you going to swim? Uh, I'm going to swim 100 and 200 freestyle, pretty much, and all the relays. So, are you trying to qualify individually or just for the relays? Um, I want to I want to swim the like individual event, but I mean, I'm pretty sure like if I swim the individual uh, event, for sure I'm going to swim the the relays. How did you wind up at Louisville? Is it because your your coach is Brazilian there, right? Yeah, he is. Uh, pretty much like one of Brazilian coach introduced uh, me to him via email, and he he like Arthur gets pretty excited like to recruit me from here, and we're talking like pretty much for a year, and I pretty much just came here like for I didn't do any recruiting trip, just came straight to to practice with the team. What part of Brazil are you from? I'm from Rio. You're from Rio. Yes. So like for a guy from Rio now going to Kentucky. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting transition, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the beaches aren't as good in Louisville, but you know, nice people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, it would, it would be awesome to have like some beaches here. Like uh, I would love to. That's one thing that I miss a lot at home. Rio's not bad. I've, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I've, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. The Louisville team right now, it's got kind of a sprint focus, which is a good thing for college swimming for sure. Mm -hmm. Give us an idea of what the program's like in the training environment. Well, the program is here is, I mean, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying a lot, and I literally can see that, like, things are going the right way, you know. Like, uh, we practice really hard here, and also the workouts, it's, it's pretty tough. And I, I was not used to, to work out and lifting, everything. But, I mean, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm in the right spot, like, you know, like uh, the, pretty much the team motivated me to, to do things well and pretty much everyone push each other and we work together. It's awesome. And back at home when we're talking about the Olympics next year, the Brazilian relays, I mean, we know about Caesar and we know that he's probably the best sprinter in the world right now. 
But do you guys yes. have four guys that can put together a relay that can medal? Well, yeah, I guess so. We have pretty fast guys. Uh, like uh, has another guy, Bruno Fratzowski, that swims for 48 low on the last nationals. Uh, we have pretty fast guys in Brazil, too. What is uh, is Caesar a rock star down there, or is it uh, for swimming? You know, people just don't notice him as much. Uh, I mean, swimming in Brazil is getting bigger and bigger. Like, uh, it's pretty much our first uh, gold medals in swimming. Uh, and I mean, Caesar is real. Uh, he's really famous in Brazil, and people knows who he is. And I guess pretty much just because Brazil was like the country of soccer, you know. But now it's good that Caesar pretty much opened a new door, like for with a gold medal. And I, I hope like swimming will be a, a big thing, a big sport in Brazil. Yeah. Well, with 2016, with you guys getting to host. Probably oh, get yeah. some excitement going for the Olympic sports. Yeah, pretty much that. I feel like that's my main goal, like uh, competing at home. Uh, I hope I can do well uh, swimming at home. Well, Zhao, good luck with uh, short-term goals and the long-term goals. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, that's Zhao DeLuca joining us from the University of Louisville. That's it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.